I'm not stubborn, I'm right. <laughs> so let's separate the game real quick into like presentation, story, and and gameplay. Uh, presentation, no, let's do story first because that's the easiest to say. The story shit, I don't give a fuck. But it's also not for me, so whatever. I'm, I, it wastes time. I wish I could have skipped it. If I hadn't been streaming, I probably would have skipped it, but it's not for me. I can, I, I can like acknowledge it's not for me i don't know who the fuck it is for but it's not for me okay not for me so i don't i don't care huge negative for me but like i can i can skip it whatever who gives a shit all right like i i don't i don't care about the story i don't care about the characters i don't really know what's going on um it's just it's just a mess whatever um in terms of in terms of presentation the presentation is kind of mixed the music is actually pretty good the sound effects are pretty good um the the exploration and the, and the zones that we're in are kind of like one step above rpg maker if that makes sense it's kind of in that reseteer area of kind of jank it feels like they've used assets from a completely different game to make this game and it doesn't really work all that well um i don't really like the presentation that much uh the the anime pictures or whatever the cgs like your mileage is going to vary there i don't give a shit but whatever like um if you like them great um the worst part about the presentation, the presentation is serviceable though, like it's fine. Um, the part of the presentation that absolutely sucks the biggest ass is how they consistently put the same color projectiles on the, on the background that is the same color. This game has a huge issue with readability and it fucks me off to, to think that it's probably intentional and I really don't like that. I don't think that's, that's good. I don't think that I should have to like have mega eye strain because you decided to put pink projectiles on a pink fucking background or, or or red on a red background or blue on a blue background like it's just really really fucking annoying i really don't like it and yeah someone in the chat has just said colorblind mode like i'm i'm not colorblind i can't i couldn't imagine being colorblind playing this game if, if it's if it's the kind of colorblind that uh, is going to affect you or sorry the kind of colorblind that's going to be affected by this game um yeah that i i think that's indefensible and if it is intentional and they wanted it to be hard that way I think that's a dog shit design decision and um, th that's just bad, okay? It's probably the worst thing in the game, actually. All right, so now we're going to gameplay. The gameplay thoughts are the most complex. Um, so this may surprise you, but I think there is actually a lot to enjoy in this game when it comes to gameplay, when it comes to the boss combat. Um, exploration is okay. The platforming is okay. I had some fun with the platform exploration, but it kind of feels like the exploration is just filler, putting the pieces together between the boss fights. The filler fights in, in like the trash packs are just kind of like whatever. They're just, you just, you just hit them, you go through. Um, the exploration is, is like very rewarding because you're always like popping walls open and getting shit to upgrade your, upgrade your character. But it also just feels like, um, like it's just spraying confetti in your face constantly like look you got an upgrade look you got your health cup look you got you got pp up look you got an egg look 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 like it's just constantly shoving shit in your face no matter where you go and that might be fun like it might activate some some neurons but at the same time like um the exploration doesn't feel as 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 measured as it does in something like hollow knight the zones just kind of like like jump scare out of you when you go through a through a transition screen instead of it being like it feels like a real place excuse me like it's just like all of a sudden you drop through a hole and you're somewhere else you're not supposed to be it's like dark souls 2 all over again um, so for that I don't like it so I didn't really like the exploration of the world exploration of the levels was okay there was a bit too much backtracking a lot of trolley design decisions but whatever it's like there it's it's not it's not that bad but I would say that the exploration is, is like it's okay it's okay um, level design is okay all right so then we come to the boss fights so the boss fights I feel like I really hate this kind of boss design however i also had a lot of fun mastering the moves i would be really afraid to i was thinking about this while i was walking the dogs last night i i would be really afraid to play this game for any longer than i already have because i would be afraid that what if this is now the type of gameplay that i need to have to get off because i can see myself playing a game that is entirely fair after this and, a and, af and after I have played a game, like it's not entirely fair, and now it's too easy. I want it. I want it to be. I want. I, I want it to be unfair. I want to struggle. I want to be like caught off guard. I want. I want you to just be like, oh, out of nowhere, just boom, you're dead, and now you have to learn the pattern. You know what I mean? That 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 sort of thing. Um, I. I would be afraid to play it longer for that because I can definitely see the appeal and I don't want to be that kind of gamer But maybe I'm gonna have to be at some point if I keep playing harder and harder games because eventually You run up to the issue where a game I feel like collectively 
people who play a lot of games are getting better and better at games, especially because of the prevalence of Souls-like games that are really, really hard and usually very, very fair. And I feel like you, you see that happening in the Souls games now, where they're, they're becoming less fair. And I think one of the reasons why they're becoming less fair is because it's much harder to keep ramping the difficulty up while staying fair. Do you understand? Like, so, like, I feel like we're running into this issue now. There has to be like kind of some some unfair moves and, and some unfair like like parts in a, in in a, in a boss fight or a gameplay. Mix it in, and then you learn how to do it. Um, and this is like way ahead of the curve if that's where gaming is headed, which it might not be, who knows. This this game is is unbelievably unfair, completely bullshit, right? But after, like, it, it will kill you just out of nowhere because fuck you, you don't understand the pattern. Like, like fight again for another five minutes before you even see the move again and haha, I hope, hope you, hope you, uh, you grok it this time so you can get it. And yet, there's, there's a lot of appreciation I have for the gameplay when it comes to mastering that, getting through, being like, oh, that attack pattern that was bullshit a couple fights ago, fuck you, I can handle it now. There's something really, really satisfying about that. However, that satisfaction also comes with an, an immense amount of frustration. Like, it's so frustrating to play this game. It's so fucking annoying. So annoying. But at the same time, once you get past that annoyance, it's like, holy shit, fuck you, boss. You know what I mean? Like, it's 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 really satisfying. Um, and I don't want to be the kind of gamer that needs that kind of gameplay. I like, I want to, I want to enjoy normal hard games, not rabby fucking rippy. You know what I mean? So like, so I'm, I'm very conflicted, very mixed. I I I really feel like I understand and respect why people like this game and like the boss fights. The the bosses have an enormous variety of patterns and the bosses really are just like pinatas that are there while the while the while the effects happen around them right you know what they're moving target whatever and you have to pick your your moments to attack them and get the most damage in and and and, and whatever but there's an enormous variety of, of the of the attack patterns that come out there's a lot of creativity there's a lot of patterns that i even said a couple when they popped up i was like oh shit, that's a cool pattern there's multiple ways to approach it sometimes there's an easy way to dodge something and avoid something but you don't get damage on the boss sometimes there's a harder way and it's really risky but if you pull it off you get some damage on the boss that said i do think that uh, again the readability of the fight is a huge issue and on top of that there are many fights that the boss just just absolutely goes like just literally just fucks off the screen sometimes like it's not even like oh if you play better you could do diamond you could do damage to them like no they're gone you you can't do damage to them like it's really annoying and i don't and i don't like that but um but yeah overall i would say that I, I i quite enjoyed the gameplay when i was in the zone with it and i was and i was got past that frustration i didn't really like the frustration for a lot of it some fights were a bit more bullshit than others i do think that even if you are like excellent at this game there are still some patterns that can just fuck you and i guess that's where the bunny amulet comes in but the controls are a bit clunky maybe if you remap the bindings or whatever it's better i don't know but you know so yeah really bad visibility issues completely bullshit but i kind of like the bullshit i kind of like the unfairness sometimes but you know if you catch me in the middle of a fight i'm probably going to be pretty angry but i did appreciate the gameplay i think i get it right now i don't think this is for me although maybe if this had a, a better art style better readability i would be i don't know if there's a, if there's another game like this that has that isn't like like fucking weeb rainbow vomit um and and like has much more readability when it comes to the um the attack patterns like on the fly um i would be interested in playing that to see if if i if i could uh if i could get on board with that more because as the game went on i feel like i could intuitively feel out a little bit more of what the patterns wanted for me even when i was seeing them for the first time not always i, I don't think i was very good at this game but there were times like it was seeing a new attack pattern i was like you know what this kind of reminds me of this and my brain is telling me do this do this do this and it worked i'm like oh cool you know so um i feel like there is uh some amount of learning you can do but it is undoubtedly bullshit imo um yeah so yeah, that's it that, those, those are my uh closing thoughts uh, believe it or not uh thank you for making me play it this was interesting part of streaming is playing games that i wouldn't normally play i would never play this in a million years and i got to have a a somewhat of a unique experience i've never played a game like this before i have played some bullet hells um but not a bullet hell that's a side scroller like this um i do enjoy like some some bullet hell stuff um but but yeah um yeah i it, it was pretty good i i had a good time um uh 4.5 out of 10.